Hi Leos, this is your singles love reading for March and April, halfway through March, halfway through April, and it's for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's also if you're spying on a, Le on a Leo because you're interested in them or whatever, or they're an ex and you're wondering what's going on, that kind of a thing, that'd be totally normal in a Mercury retrograde that starts this month. So let me tell you what it's going to happen in this reading. We're going to look at your general month, like what does it look like in regards to love? What is it that you think you want? versus what it is that you actually need. <laughs> and then we're gonna look at how other people are perceiving you in regards to love situations or you know when you're attracting mates, things like that. Um, we're gonna look at the best course of action for you in regards to getting the love that you want in this period of time. And then also, how is this Mercury retrograde between March 22nd and um, April 15th, I believe it is, going to affect you. Because as you know, in Mercury retrogrades, a, it's really, really common for exes to come back. Is that a good idea? Is it not? How should you handle that, okay? Because um, those can be very trying times. So let's go ahead and get started. Leos, in general, what does it look like for single Leos between March 15th and April 15th? They're saying this is maybe one of those moments or this period of, this is like, can, that, can you see it better now? Um, this is one of those periods in time where you have to be a little bit patient and sort of shift your perspective. Now, shifting your perspective doesn't necessarily mean, you know, um, changing what you're looking for. Stop being so picky. It doesn't mean things like that. It just means trying to see situations from a different angle, and that'll become more clear as we get into the reading. This is the first card. <laughs> but what it's saying is patience is definitely necessary for you in the month of March and April in regards to bringing in the love that you want. The other theme here is that not um, you might not want to go out like offering love this month. It's um, maybe not the best romantic month for you. Why is that? And they say because there's things here that you can't see that um, that could definitely, you're, you're like choosing not to see, okay? There, there are issues here in regards to people you could be meeting. So you want to get to know them, be patient before you go and give your heart away is essentially what I'm getting there. So it doesn't mean that you're necessarily only attracting people who, you know, aren't for your highest good or anything like that. That's definitely not what it's saying. But what it's saying is try to go slow, be patient, see things from alternative perspectives and point of view before you just go, you know, running away and giving away your heart. That's the general vibe between March and April. Um, before I go on, I just wanted to mentioned before I forget a few things. Um, if you haven't been to my website, there's a link in the description box below, you can sign up to win a free 20 minute video reading. I draw one of those every month. So if you're looking at this from mobile, the icon is like a little green smiley face at the bottom. Um, so there's that. I didn't want to forget to tell you that. Um, if you're wondering about other energies that are happening for you in March and April, um, on this YouTube channel, just click on playlists and everything's organized by sign. The other thing is, um, so I did a YouTube live and I did live readings here. I think it was February, like Valentine's Day. Yeah. And that was a lot of fun and a lot of people really enjoyed it. So I'm thinking I will do another one coming up here in, um, beginning of April to middle of April. So if you want to be alerted to that, I might not make an announcement on YouTube. I probably won't do that. Um, so Facebook is a good place to follow that. Um, and then daily readings are always on Patreon if you weren't aware. Those are um, really more in-depth. And then Snapchat has like sometimes a card of the day if I get around to it. So anyway, moving on. Um, what is it that you think you want in this period of time? And they're saying you might be thinking that you're not like really wanting a stable long-term relationship or marriage right this minute. Maybe in general it's something you want, but it's not necessarily something that you're thinking about in this time period 
because you're thinking more about how your spirituality or your religion or your inner self, your personal growth is um, going to be very important in who you're attracting and who a good mate would be for you. So, um, for example, you know, if you're of a certain religion, you probably want somebody of the same faith. Maybe some of you don't care. Um, but, you know, if you're a tarot card reader, for example, you probably don't want some to be attracting people who think that's evil or witchcraft or something spooky ooky, right? Um, so, so you're kind of going within and you're trying to, A, grow to be a better partner for somebody coming in, think about what you really want, what's important to you, but then also figuring out who's like more aligned. Like what kind of things do you... You know, what kind of attributes would this person have or characteristics? Okay, so what is it that you actually need when looking for a partner? And what you really need to focus on is somebody who has really good communication skills, who's very honest and upfront with you. Um, they're saying you actually do need to have someone who's in similar alignment with you in regards to your own spirituality and your belief system. So this is really um, a good thing. You're already on the right track to manifesting what it is that you desire in a relationship because this will prevent you a lot of pain and it will actually do a lot of healing for you. So not only by thinking about like yourself and your own needs, are you healing past wounds in order to be ready to bring in the partner that you want, but um, you're going to bring in somebody who's like very, very compatible with you. So this is actually really wonderful. So any reflective like inner work that you're doing in the month of March 15th to April 15th is going to be very, very helpful. Um, how are other people perceiving you? Potential matches or suitors. And they're saying um, that you're not stuck in the past. So that's really good because a lot of signs um, especially in this time period with the Mercury retrograde happening, other people are going to be like, oh, you know what? You're really great in so many ways. I could really see myself, you know, working things out with you, but you talk about your ex a lot. I don't think you're over it. <laughs> like that kind of an energy. And that's not you at all. So that's fantastic. They're saying, um, although you are seeming a little bit guarded to people, especially with this energy of like, take it slow, get to know them. That's actually really wise. Okay, you're perceived as the kind of person who's no drama, like any drama that you've experienced in the past, you learned your lessons and you're like, I am only dealing with like peaceful, calm, harmonious relationships from here forward. So they understand that little bit of guardedness, you know, it's not, it's not a full wall that you have up, you know, they're seeing it as like a little hurdle that you just jump right over, hopefully, if they're the right match for you. Okay. So what's the best course of action in order for you to get what you want in regards to the relationship that you would be desiring? And they're saying, um, thinking about your challenges and like overcoming them with enthusiasm in regards to love and, you know, that personal growth and development kind of aspect again. What they're saying is there are some emotional imbalances that will be happening for you in this time period. And like I said, with a Mercury retrograde, that's totally normal. Um, I don't know if you saw the Pisces is in everything video for March, but um, it's a time when our emotions for all signs are going this way and going this way and going this way and this way. So if I can remember, I'll put a link to that video because that'll help you to understand why you're feeling the way you're feeling in the month of uh, March, especially. Because um, it's totally normal and don't beat yourself up. There's nothing wrong with you. <laughs> They're saying, um, you know, don't take... So you should be taking things really, really, really slow with new people that you're meeting in this in this time period. They're saying that that is absolutely the best course of action and you'll be very, very happy that you did, that you didn't jump into a situation that would create disharmony in, um, I'm getting also, like it could create disharmony in your home if you were to move too fast. Uh, perhaps it might be like one of those things where they're just like already moving in or they're just dropping by randomly or something like that. Or you're um, spending too much time and then it just throws off your work-life balance or like, you know, the quality time that you need in your own home environment and comf um, comfortability level, if that makes sense. So what do we need to know in regards to that sort of uh, personal healing and trying to figure out what it is that we want, taking it slow. And they want you to focus on color energies. And so if I were you, I would try to do chakra meditations or something like that. Get your chakras cleared and then activate them again. Okay. So you want to 
do um, the practice of shielding, especially when we are trying to take things slow with potential partners. So kind of close your eyes and allow, you know, this white ray of light to kind of come in through the top of your head and clear out any psychic debris, anything icky or old stagnant energy um, out through your root chakra, which is, um, they say it's your perineum, um, but I don't like to, to do it that way. I just like to do it like kind of like out my butt when I'm sitting. <laughs> but anyway, um, when, when you do that, when you kind of open your eyes, things might seem a little bit brighter and lighter. So you're going to want to pull that energy um, out, you know, from the top, from, you know, the universe, the heavens above, whatever, through your crown chakra and push it out into the earth so that anything icky, old, stagnant can go away. And then once that energy all comes all the way through you, all the way down to your feet, bring that white light back up around you as kind of a shield. Okay. So, um, as you're doing this, if you think of a specific color and it correlates to a uh, chakra energy, that would be the chakra you want to try to heal either with crystals or with whatever. Okay. Um, oh, by the way, if you want to know your crystal of the month, that would have been in the March reading. Um, and then it'll be again in the April reading, but there should be a link below as well if you're interested in that. Um, okay. So next question. How is the retrograde energy? going to affect your love life for single Leo Sun Moon and Rising between the 22nd and the 15th of April. Now remembering though that it might already be affecting you because those dates aren't exact. Sometimes the energies hit us early and sometimes they stay a little late. So you may already be experiencing these as you're watching the video. And they're saying, um, that truth, honesty, that sort of thing comes to the forefront, okay? They're saying it's so important, but then also is this like passion to go out and find that exact right match, somebody who's an excellent communicator that's totally there for you. They're saying that, you know, if there is somebody who is deceptive or um, like intentionally deceptive, or if there was somebody who, um, you know, really hurt you and ran away, stole something from you, maybe they stole your heart and ran away, but it's, it's not necessarily evil, but it's like a sneaky, tricky energy. Sometimes it's a narcissist, um, doesn't always have to be, but you know, it's like intentional deception. If somebody like that from your past, uh, shows up, which it looks like they potentially might, they might reach out. Um, you want to remember how far you've come since that situation. Like how much balance has come into your life? How much better are you without that stress? at handling, you know, your work-life balance, um, your emotions, all of these things. Like, are you extra productive now that this isn't something that's distracting you and stressing you out? So you want to think about that before you engage. Because it's also very possible that within this time period, you might start thinking about them, okay? And then you're going to wonder, like, oh, how are they doing? Should I reach out? You know, blah, blah, blah. And they want you to stop. Be patient with yourself. Remember, taking some time out, reevaluate, and think about how is my life different and how is it better before you do that. Okay. Now they're saying um, because ultimately that situation or that person wasn't what you wanted. Ultimately, that person or situation, you were more in love with the idea of who they could have been who they should have been. You fell in love with their potential instead of who they were. And so this is important to remember in that Mercury retrograde. What else do we need to know in the Mercury retrograde? And they just say, um, yeah, when it comes to exes, if you're going to consider restarting that, wait till the retrograde's over. Because what the retrograde energy does is it brings them back, it builds this fantasy, it kind of confuses us. If we go back and we engage, we're basically telling the universe we don't want something new, that this is good enough for us. And then as soon as the retrograde ends, that relationship crumbles and falls apart. It's the same old shit. And we're not any better off, right? So, so you want to keep these things in mind between March 15th or March 22nd, especially through April 15th, okay? So that's where you're at. Um, if you need help kind of navigating this and you think, oh, you know what, my ex is the exception to the rule because he wasn't that, or she wasn't that, um, you know, that devious. <laughs> 
I can definitely tell you if that's the case or not. Um, so links to get readings and everything are below. And see you in April for your general readings. Bye! Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!